Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I've got some Nintendo homebrew news. I'm planning on making these news videos somewhat regularly because I know most of you are waiting on new 3DS and Wii U exploits so you can homebrew your consoles on the latest firmware. We're also going to be covering some Nintendo Switch news and other stuff like emulators as time goes on. I'll also need a name for this series so leave your name idea in the comments below. For our first story, we've gotten news that the Wii U on firmware version 5.5.2 may be able to access Homebrew soon. Many people in the Homebrew community have been saying to download the Wii U app Crunchyroll because it may have Homebrew exploits inside. They've been saying it has something to do with the ads in the Crunchyroll app and they'll be releasing new information soon. So if you want to homebrew your Wii U on the latest firmware, you have to download the Crunchyroll app before it gets patched. The Crunchyroll exploit isn't available yet, but when it is, I'll make a video on it. Now, on to some major Nintendo Switch homebrew news. This news is a couple of weeks old, but it's very important in the progress of homebrew on the Nintendo Switch. If you don't know this already, the Nintendo Switch kernel has been dumped. The kernel basically controls everything what your device does, like applications, CPU, RAM and other devices connected to it. This is a huge step forward for Nintendo Switch homebrew and modding. Steps like this took years on the Wii U. I think I'll go into detail on this in another video. So let's go on to our next story. Also on Nintendo Switch, physical games have also been dumped. This is also big news because now we can analyse the games using our computers. We are nowhere close to a Nintendo Switch emulator, but this is a big step forward. Only a few games have been dumped right now. Right now we have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, ARMS, Has Been Heroes, Puyo Puyo Tetris, and Lego City Undercover.